Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools?
and find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello, welcome to Yarn Lane. Good afternoon. How are you all? Now, for those of you who don't know, Yarn Lane is the only shopping channel in the United Kingdom that is totally and utterly, utterly dedicated to everything yarn, whether it be knitting or whether it be crochet, whether it be macrame, anything like that. So I'm going to start the show by taking you to the website, first of all, uh, so you can get in touch and see there. So it's www.yarnlane.com. You click on watch the show live. It doesn't tell you what I'm doing or who I am. My name's John Scott. Hello. Hello, click on watch the live show and you'll get this. There's me again, I'm afraid, but just smaller and fatter. Then if you want to send a message to the studio, you can do there. That's Hannah, the producer, saying hello. Click on send the message and that will come through to the studio. Uh, right, now you can also see everything that is for sale right now in this show on pre-order, right? Okay, so now what you what you are seeing there are all your yarn packs. So it all let's go to the middle of that book there, right? So that's the book that all of the projects today come from. They're all designed by Sarah Hatton, who's here with us. Thirteen hand knit designs, all of the patterns. No, right. So everything we're going to show you today is in there. There's more than what you're showing because we're not doing thirteen. We're doing one, two, three, six. We're doing six projects from that book in the show today. But so you need to buy the book first and then you buy the wool because it's all wool. 
uh, you buy the wool to go with it. We've bundled it so you can see what each of them will make from those pictures. Here's a very handsome man with a beard. Oh, he's gone. Oh, no, we haven't got it. Isn't that weird? I thought I'd seen it. Oh, we have got it. We have got it. I'll be showing you that. Now, he's not here. He's not here. Sadly, ladies, he's not here. But we have got that job. We'll yep. show, show you on that side in a minute. Um, th so that's first of all what we're doing. The other thing I need to point out. Oh, now, while we're on the website, right, if you've got one of these, right, if you've got your voucher booklet, right, don't panic. If it hasn't arrived yet, I'll explain what you can do, right? The first page in here, it's today and today only. Oh, it's upstairs they like this, don't they? I'm just having to cover it up because that's a code there. You have to put the code in, right? 50% off yarn, right? 50% off If you go to the website and you go into the yarn section, right? There you go. Look, you can see along the top there, you can see yarn. 50% off anything in there, right? Look at all those yarns. You get half price. Now, it's today and today only. Right? There's a code in your booklet which shows you the yarn. Oh, there's a code in your booklet. Sorry. So when you put to put the yarn in your basket, you need to put the code in and you'll get 50% off. Oh, Jan will be very happy about this. Okay, so what I also need to tell you is some people have messaged me this morning saying, my, my book hasn't arrived. Uh, Chantelle's book arrived during the show, so she's all right. She's ready to go. If your book hasn't arrived and you bought last week on the days when you, were la when you were eligible for getting one of these booklets, ring the call centre, they'll sort it all out for you. They've got a list of all of you who bought, who were eligible for it last week, right? So they'll, they'll put the 50% on for you. If you've got any issues at all, just ring the call centre. They'll do it all. Oh, where's it gone? They'll sort it all out for you. Right? No, no, it's fine, it's fine, because I'm used to a number, because it's a different number to Sewing Streets, isn't it, you see? There it is, 0800 4700 600. Give them a call, they'll sort it all out for you. Right, let's get on with the show then, just got lots to do. Here's the book. West Yorkshire Spinner. West Yorkshire Spinners. Here you go, it's 14 pounds and, is that all? Right, okay, look, now how much would you pay for a, a knitting pattern, a good quality knitting pattern, right? This book is only fourteen ninety five. We've got Sarah here who's designed it all. You'll meet her in a minute, right? She's designed all of these, right? All of these. So I'll just take you through the book very, very, oh, now, I should really, I should wait really, shouldn't I? Because it doesn't say on the picture, watch what, is that a blue face or is that a Jacob? I don't know. It's a Jacob. It's a Jacob. I've been whispered. Oh, okay. He is very handsome. He's got four horns. Look. Anyway, that's think, a blue face, Esther. I think. I think. Hey, well. I think. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks. Anyway, aren't they? Oh, look at him. He looks like he's got a jumper on already, and he has got a blue face. Anyway, let's get to the projects. Look, 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 look. So here are all the projects in this book. We are. We haven't obviously kitted all of these today. We've kitted some of them, and we'll go through in a minute the ones we've kitted. I know we've done that one because I can see that one here. I know we've done that one because I can see that one. Not that one. Have I got that one? Is that that one? That's that one. She's not in. I'll introduce you, Sarah, in a second. We've got that hat. We've got the handsome man's jumper. We've got his scarf. We've got, no, we've got that one. But anyway, I'll go through them all with you in a second. But all of the patterns are in here, look. So maybe you're thinking, oh, John, I wanted to do it. We've got that one. But maybe there's one in here that you think, oh, I love that. I'll do that one. And you can buy, you can get the yarn. You can buy the yarn, can't you? That's lovely, that one, isn't it? That's really classy. Right, so here are all the different projects, all the instructions. You see, that's lovely as well, isn't it? Um, absolutely stunning, aren't they? You get all of those patterns with all of the instructions for $14.95. They're like proper traditional, you know what I mean? Like they're kind of, then I don't want to say they're not fashion led because obviously everything's fashion led, but they're like your proper, proper traditional, timeless, classic, traditional, lovely, what you want a jumper to be really. Do you know what I mean? Oh, she's not very happy, does she? We've got that. We've got those. That's all Hannah did in the break to start with. She just put that on a mannequin and then wandered off. <laughs> Look! Oh, right, okay. I'll shut up now. Let's meet Sarah. 
Hello. 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 Right, it's our first time we've met, isn't it? And we literally just met now. We've yeah. had no, no chance to... Seconds ago. Yes, prep or anything. <laughs> so, first of all, before we get on with anything, mm -hmm. how did you get into knitting patterns, designing knitting patterns? Um, so, I guess it relates back to you a little bit in terms of I went to college Me? to study fashion. Oh. And... I really hate the sewing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't take it personally. No, no, that's right. Um, I didn't have the patience for sewing and I discovered hand knitting. And so you have the patience for hand knitting? I know, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Well, um, you know, there's just, with craft, there's one that sets you alight and you oh, just no, find joy in it. Yes, so, um, so that was what I found joy in and straight away from college, I got sponsored by... Where did you go? Where did you go to college? Bretton Hall. Which is part of the West Yorkshire Sculpture Park now. No, 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 no. I went to Bretton Hall. No way! I've got, I've got my teaching degree from Bretton Hall. Oh, really? I was there a long time before you, Yeah, obviously. no, yeah. I lived on campus there. It was lovely. Grasshopper. I lived in Grasshopper. It's still standing, only just all the others have been demolished Yeah, because it's all gone. Oh, I didn't even know they did knitting <laughs> there. Were. Yeah. A fashion um, so They did fashion. Um, so I did that and then went on to work at Serda, one of the big companies. And then I've just only ever done knitting. How Very lucky. Brilliant. I know. Where did you live then on campus? Um, I can't, it was the one looking out. I had a Henry Moore sculpture in front of my window. It was very glamorous. Oh, no, I, I, I love it. it. Yes. I loved it too. Yes. Absolutely loved it. <laughs> anyway, we'll catch up on that later on. Um, so, so then how, how did your affiliation with the West Yorkshire Spinners come so, about? So um, I then became a freelance designer and they reached out to me um, and asked if I'd be interested in working together with them. Um, so... Like my job now, I do lots of different things. I do photo shoots for people, I write patterns for people, and then I do my own designs. So like a bit of everything. So we can find Sarah Hatton patterns all over the place, not just with West Yorkshire Spinners. No, no, there'll be, that. you can find my ones just me on my you, own. You online. on your own. It's a sad world, isn't <laughs> I know. it, the freelancer. <laughs> right, okay, so describe to me, before we look at them, describe to me the, this collection then, because obviously what you're trained in fashion, you know about collections yes, and things like that. Yes, Because they're not, I didn't mean that as an insult, they're not fashion led, but they, because they're... No, they needed to be timeless. Yes, yes. Yeah, so um, when I got the brief and I got sent the yarn, it's just so squishy and cosy. So is that how it works? Yes. You get sent the yarn. Yes. And then you design around the yarn yes. that they've sent you. Yes, ideally. Yes, yes. <laughs> Not everybody works like that. No. But um, And I just felt it was so squishy. And who doesn't love, like, a cable sweater in cream? It's just so classic. Yeah. Um, so I knew that I wanted them to be quite timeless designs. And also, if you're making one of these bigger pieces, they don't happen overnight. So I feel like it has to be quite timeless and quite classic because... Oh, yes, you started you, knitting it today. Yes, exactly. When you finished it, it's out of fashion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I don't like designing things that are like orange and crazy just because I think knitting takes a, a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. But also, so is this very much your look then? Is this legit, or do you also do crazy I don't things know well? because people, people quite often say, oh, you can tell that's a Sarah Hatton. And I'm like, can you? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, but on the whole, yeah, like I... I knit a lot myself and I think that hopefully that shows because I don't like doing things that are over complicated or it would drive you crazy. It's also good to get a designer, it's going to sound, I don't mean to sound patronising, but I've worked with so many designers who've drawn a picture of a frock and yeah. like, I want this and yeah. I want it made out of that and you go, that can never be made out no, of this. Exactly. And that fabric does not float like that, yes. you know what I mean? That if they've drawn a chiffon dress and they give me heavy upholstery velvet yes. or something, whereas you've actually sat and knitted every single one of these patterns in this book yeah, so for I'll, yourself. So yeah. you know that I know they work. that I know that they work. I know that like the yarn's nice to work with. Um, so if a company sent me some yarn and I thought it was really icky and hard to work with, I wouldn't, wouldn't design in it no. because I know that and with that'd knitting. That would be a difficult phone call, wouldn't it? Yeah, I know. And I've decided not to do this one because <laughs> Your it's yarn's icky. a bit icky and I don't like it. Um, yeah. That's quite a diva phone call, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry. Um, no, I don't. That's a, that's a regular level you're at, isn't it, really? So, yeah, like I just think... It should be a pleasure, like when you're designing a knitting pattern, you're designing a beautiful finished garment, but you're also designing a pleasurable process. Yes, exactly. And so I always try to have a balancing act between the two. Brilliant. Yes. Fantastic. Right, okay then. So what we're going to do now very quickly, we're not going to do any knitting yet, we will be doing knitting, don't worry, is we'll go through each of the projects that we've got kits for. So you do, if you, you need to buy the booklet. Thing is, Fourteen ninety five for thirteen patterns is a brilliant price. It's just over a pound a pattern, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really? I think so. And there's men's, women's, children, scarves, gloves, scarves, something, gloves something for something everybody. For everybody. Ho there. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, we'll soon see because we're, we're going to show them now. So Hannah, which one? So basically, you need to buy the book, and then we have kitted six of the projects here, and we will. Say this again, Hannah. 
Yeah, yeah. It's the actual yarn that it's been. So it's the yarn that you were sent. Yes. Basically, and they're made out. So it's exactly what they're made out of in the booklet here. So where do you want to start, Hannah? No, you need to tell me a number. Yeah. Yeah, right, we're going to Handsome Man, first of all. What page is he on then? Hang on, let's find him. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, hang on, he's got the jumper on under. Oh, no, it's not, is it not that one, is it? No, it's the no, one no. with the fair Riley pack. Here you go. There he is. Right, oh, Emma's having a moment. So if you would like to make this jumper, now, what sizes do they go up to? Can you remember? Uh, I'll do it in here. 36, oh, blimey, 54 inch chest, that's a good size. So it goes 36, 38 small, 40, 42 medium, 44, 46 large, 48 to 50 extra large, and 52 to 54 extra, extra large. And the yarn you're going to get in here is Jacob, D, uh, double knit that is, isn't it? Yes. Jacob in brown, black, Jacob in ecru, and Jacob in light grey. So... This, I, I think, first of all, just opening this would be a joy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just beautiful. Now, it's called Brown Black, that one, isn't it? Yes. Jacob, and then that one's there. So now, there must be enough in here. Oh, bloody, it's endless. It's going on forever and ever. Okay, it's $44.99. Ah, you'd pay so much more for that. So, there he is. And I can't stop showing him now. Uh, so, basically... But, oh, now it says it goes to a 50, but my thing says, oh, okay, so you can only do up to extra large. You can't do double XL. But you get all of this yarn for 44 99 So there's your main jumper, and then there, I'm calling it a fair aisle, but there's your pattern going across the front there. It's beautiful West Yorkshire spinners, 100% Jacob, reared, sheared, and spun in Britain. Aren't they just beautiful, those colours in there? So the little book, you need to buy the little book on the left hand, uh, on the small graphic and $44.99 for the big graphic. And there he is underneath wearing it. There you go. There he is. So just take, you've got that jumper over there. I just while, while people check out on that one, just talk us through this jumper, if you don't mind, the design of this jumper. Um, I know a lot of people are really scared by Fair Isle and holding oh, two colours at once. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you need the technical term and everything. Yeah. Um, so the idea was that the rest of it would be a really, really nice, easy knit, and then there would just be a little bit that you might be scratching your head at, but it wouldn't be too overwhelming. It's on the back as well. As and it goes on to the back as well. Okay, so if it does frighten you, would there be enough brown black to not do it on the back? I don't know. I think so. Oh, no, but you could just do two stripes. Yeah, the, you could do nice stripes. Gray, Lovely. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, but have a go, because I don't think it's as scary as people think it is. No, no, no. I'm just thinking, if you do the front and you think, I didn't really enjoy it. I hate when it. When you make a jumper, do you do the front or the back first? Does it matter? Normally back first, but it wouldn't oh. matter. Okay. Well, no, no, I'm just thinking, I think it's a beautiful design, but if, if somebody did frighten yes. it, you could just do stripes yes, if you wanted to, because that would be beautiful as yes. well, wouldn't it? Yeah, because the colours, I just think... Because they're that flecked colour, they blend into each other just enough to make it look really kind of heritage. And what's that neckline called then? Is that is uh, just a basic crew neck? So quite simple. I yeah. know, like when you're designing menswear, like when I knit for my boyfriend, I'm saying like I'll knit you something. He says, I'd rather you weren't knitting, and I'm like, I will be knitting. It's just, do you want the thing, or shall I make something for myself? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice attitude. Yeah. Nice attitude. And they always want you to just do a really plain thing in like a darker colour. So this was kind of a nod to that, really. I think I think it's really, really beautiful. This Thank one. You. So so they didn't send you those three colours and say make something like this. They just sent you the whole range, yes. and then you created all of this around yes. that range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just and get a giant parcel of yarn. Exactly. Now I think for homegrown, sheared, and everything, they're really, really good prices. That's the first project. Oh, single figures already. <clears throat> single figures already on that one. Please be careful. Right, next one. Yeah. Yeah, LZ6603, ladies' cardi equivalent. Well, is it, is it the one with the round round the neck? The, like, Norwegian-y thing round the neck? So that one's next. So again, you've got your... Is this your black-brown again in here? She's got black-brown. She's got a matching set. Oh, yeah, look, then the lovely... Yeah, it's kind of like a his and hers, but a modern take on a his and yeah. hers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, so... The, so she, oh, no, she doesn't get grey in hers. She doesn't get grey. She doesn't get any grey. There she is. You will need to buy the book, <coughs> excuse me, to get the pattern. She's the front cover. Oh, I can look it up here, can I? 
Ah, oh, sure. What's the bus size? It's 28 to 46. That's a good size, isn't it? Oh, there you go. She's right at the front. The Ella Beck Ladies Classic Farrell Yoke Cardigan. Now, this is, I think this is beautiful. I think this sums up the whole. Oh, there's only eight of these already. So you need to buy the book, remember? And then 34 99 for the yarn. Can you just bring that yours forward? Just oh, have a look of course. At it. So what yeah. would people, is that difficult doing that yoke? No, because again, like I don't, personally like doing colour work that much. It doesn't, okay. doesn't do it for me. So I tend to stick to two at once. So you don't have all those tangles of yarn at the back of your work. So it's not too complicated. And again, it's only a small section, uh -huh. but it's worked in the round. So when we do our little knitting demonstration later, I'm going to show people how to work in the round okay, without perfect. being too scary. But you've also got buttonholes on there. And buttonholes, which we'll show later as okay, well. Okay, now oh, we have to get a move on with my chatting. Um, <laughs> as the, do you, when you knit it, is the button stand or the buttonhole stand, is that already knit? knit it into it or do you add it on afterwards? Pick up and knit it on afterwards. Pick up and knit it on. Okay. Yes. And I really love the cream around the bottom. That's a real beautiful finishing touch. Just that two rows. Is it two rows Yeah, of it's cream just a tiny bit just because I think it helps tie it into the yoke and make the whole garment sit is together it, better. I told you. They're just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful traditional. But I'll hurry up a bit now because obviously we're chatting so much we're going to need to do some knitting. Right, coat again. It must be that one because that's the only one big enough there. Sorry, I've got to keep all these together because otherwise I'm going to be lost with that. Right, okay, so now this is the coat again, RO6623. Let's have a look at this in here. So, is that this one? Is it the Galfe? Yes. The Galfe, page 16. Right, again, you need, do need to buy the book with all the patterns in. Oh, there it is, there she is. So now this is edge to edge. I presume it's got yeah, no, no um, buttonholes. No <laughs> buttonholes at all. But that bit down the front, how frightening is that then? That's on a mannequin. We've got it on a mannequin here as well. Oh, I love this colour. Oh, it's all the same colour. I'm not going to get it all out. It's all the same colour. Medium grey. Oh, now. It says in the book light grey. I've got medium grey. Is ours the same colour as that? It's a bit darker. No, you're a bit darker. Slightly yeah. darker. Ours is slightly darker than the one in the book. There it is. So you will get yours will be this colourway. Uh, 28 to 42 bust on that one. And you get how many of these? 11 of these. I'm not going to get them all out because they're all the same colour. That You see, the thing is, none of them are a solid colour, are no. they? They've got loads of life to them. Yeah. Beautiful. Right, OK, so what sort, of knit, what sort of knit is that then? So it's all over texture and then you've got the cable. Right. But oh, that's the cable, isn't it? Yeah, so it's quite a simple cable, though. And then what you can't see, I know everybody loves pockets in things. Yeah, we can, we can see. Let's spin it around. Oh, wow. So you have got like a hidden pocket. Is the one on both sides? The one on both sides, yes. Oh, lovely. Now, is that knitted in at the same that's time? That's knitted in at the same time. So nice, easy, straightforward. But we've written it all out. OK, so. and is that moss stitch? Um, it's like a waffle stitch. So it's just knits and pearls. Oh, OK. Very waffle simple. Stitch. Waffle yeah. stitch, beautiful. So that's 54.99. But you are getting it. Did you say 11, did you say? 11, Hanks. 11 of these you're getting in there. Three left. Three left of those. Very popular show, this one. Very popular. Right, next one. <clears throat> we will get to some stitching in a minute. <laughs> Though it's which one? Multi-way ripple ending 81 cardigan. Right, that's this one. That's, oh, so that's, that's the one behind you there. Yeah. Again, one colour, it's just one colour, isn't it? Yeah. Now you see, is that cable as well? Yes. So this is a bit more of a challenging knit because you're going to knit these front cable panels, but that's all you're concentrating over and done with. And then you're going to pick up and work sideways the other bits. Oh, uh, like a sock? Yeah, so when it's just a, sock, a bit more down. of a challenging kind of like construction. So right. is there cable down the sleeve as well? Nope, nope. So, oh, there's a little one down the centre of the sleeve, but on the body, it's just picked up here and then you're working down here. Tiny cable, which hopefully you've got in your head anyway, because you've done these done front that, panels. Yeah. So yeah. Perfect. That's lovely. So that's forty four ninety nine, and that's um, I did just find it, didn't I? We've just seen that one. Anyway. Oh, there it is. Look at it on the picture there. It's lovely, isn't it? Again, no buttonholes. Edge no to edge. buttonholes. Yep, edge to edge. Gorgeous. Right, next one, Ham. Children's now. Oh no. The what? Oh, cow. I thought you said the cow in the hat. I was going to say, Hannah, you can't be jealous now. So that's the Oakwood Ladies Cable set. What's the number? 
I haven't got an 05. Oh, you have. 6605. Oh, yeah, because I was expecting more than this. So you got two. Right, 14 99 You can make both the cow and the hat, hasn't yeah. it, can you? That cow in a hat, that's what it says. I do <laughs> apologise if you're the model and watching. Um, this is lovely. This is what I... Th this is my Aaron jumper. I know this is Aaron wool, but my Aaron's, when I was little, were always this yes. colour. Always that beautiful, natural colour. So you get the two hanks uh, for fourteen ninety nine, And you need to buy the book, obviously. And there she is. Wearing the cow. She's a bit cold in that one, look. She should have been wearing our mittens that we've got here, shouldn't she, really? Why isn't she? Yeah, exactly. Who styled that photograph? Not me. Not you. Not me. Not me. Anyway, that's a lovely one to do. Next one, please. I haven't got one left, have I? Right. EW6663. Oh, oh. Now, is this different? This feels softer for some yes. reason. Yes. Um, and I think it might be the thicker weight as well so it's quicker a what, what? like a thicker yarn so it's a quicker knit oh okay no, it's a oh, it's no. no but it feels gorgeous so that's this one uh what have, what have we got can you just is it that one you've got behind you there it is i've hidden it just sorry it no 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 don't mind so this could be for a boy or a girl boy oh that's this one here it's the yeah. evestone yeah age three to ten twenty two 22 and 3 quarter inches to 28 inches. Three, and you get three hanks of blue face, Lester. Right, I, the only thing I would say about it, it says in the book it's a little girl's. We're saying it's a child's, but I think a little boy might have an issue with that neckline. The neck is quite wide, but again, that's quite a simple thing to change. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that because you've be got a little boy's jumper that we haven't. Yeah, no, um, he's behind you, but we don't have him kitted up. Oh, okay. But if they, if they, now, do they, if they, could they make him out of three hanks? No, oh, <laughs> It's a different weight yarn. Oh, okay, so ignore that. But you, <laughs> we can, you can get that yarn anyway, perfect. So, uh, so all the things behind me are things that are in the book, but yep. we haven't got kits for. So yep. I'll just show you, you've got that lovely scarf, mittens, hat, little boy. No, now that's the one I was just talking about there, that little boy there. Then there's, all those are all in the book as well. And, and those up there, as you can't see what they are. Um, now, I, I just need to say before we start the knitting, I please, you do need to be careful because it's <laughs> very, very busy. No, there's no bright colours. It's all brown or cream or ivory or grey. Yeah. And it's lovely. And it's very, very popular. Right. Oh. The ladies' yoke cardigan. There's one left. There's one left. That's it. We haven't even started knitting. There it is, this one. Yeah, the cover star of the booklet. Remember, you do need the booklet as well as the yarn. But if you think about it, thirty-four ninety-nine plus fourteen ninety-five, you wouldn't be able to buy that in a shop for that much. And you're going to have the pleasure of knitting it, or the pleasure of getting someone else to knit it for you. Isn't it lovely. Oh, hang on. Um, a big thank you to everybody. Uh, oh, that's right. That, that's one. I've nearly finished the cardigan I'm making my husband's birthday. Adapted a jumper pattern. That was Claire. It's one of these, Claire. That'd be lovely. Right. Okay. So knitting. Yes. What are we going to do first? Because we're halfway through the show already. So halfway. what I was going to demo is um, a technique that I think a lot of people are quite scared of unnecessarily um, called magic loop. Right. Now, personally, I don't think it should be called Magic Loop because I think that's what scares people. It makes the name. it sound very yeah. mystical. And, and what is it then? What, what's so it? what it is, is it's a way of working in the round, right? but without using double-pointed needles. So double-pointed needles are the ones like cocktail sticks. Like normal. Big cocktail sticks. No, they've, right. got, they've got not an end on it, so it's just a straight needle. Right. Um, but loads of people get scared that one of the needles is going to fall out. or So this, you can do it on a circular needle, all your stitches are safe and it's really quick and easy. Right. It's a technique that means because we can work a really small circle on a large needle, you could, if you wanted, knit a whole onesie down to your toes and your fingers all on the same needle. No. <laughs> so hang on, so would any, do we sew any of these? So on, on a... this one, on yeah. the sleeves, we've worked in the round. So right, okay, that I'm would... confused. So you've knitted it. So when you, as you're knitting it, a whole cardigan appears. Just the sleeve bit. Oh, okay. I thought you meant the whole thing. I was thinking. I mean, we could do. <laughs> okay then. So, so what size needles do you need for most? Are they all so the same size? All you these? need to be able to do is fold your needle so that you're making a figure of eight, so that my two needles meet each other, but I've got a piece of wire out each side. Oh, okay. All right then. So and. All it is really is you are shuffling your stitches to different positions, but that's maybe not as catchy as Magic Loop, I no. think. <laughs> Sho shoving them to different positions. So, so hang on. So when we cast on, yes. 
We have we cast like you cast on two different lots of stitches. I just cast on one. Yeah. And then, so if you can see, it's all joined oh, together. Oh yeah, so of course, of so course, it's, it's shoving them around. Shoving the, them around. Yeah, yeah exactly. Maybe we need to rename this. Right. So all I would do is. Pull half my stitches, or roughly half. It doesn't have to be exactly half. You can keep moving them around. That's okay. fine. Um, and so they live, the ones that I'm about to work, live on the needle, ready to be knitted. Yeah. And the other ones live in the middle of that wire so that they, when I start knitting, they'll sit exactly next to the other set so I won't get a ladder for me. Uh -huh. And then all I'm going to do is work across these stitches. So what are you just doing? You're doing what stitch are you doing now? Just stocking stitch. So the other is thing that knit, is that knit just one row, knitting. Pearl one row. Well, it would be if we were working flat. But the one advantage to working in the round is I know a lot of people don't like working pearl rows. We never do a pearl row in the round. Oh, okay. Just always just knitting and knitting and knitting. Back knitting. On yourself, no, round and round yeah. And round. So there you are. I finished my first half or roughly half. So right. these I've just worked. So they need to live now on the wire. Yeah. And the other ones live on the needle. So I turn my work. Shuffle these ones onto the needle that they're nearest to, and the other ones zoom onto the wire. Okay, it's going to, for some use a traditional, not a knitter, but for some use a traditional knitter, that's going to be a bit frightening to start with. Isn't yes, it? it is, and that's why I'd say like practice with a little sample like this. Don't suddenly start on your main project. But once you get into the hang of it, it's really straightforward. It means all your stitches are safe. You can like just throw it in your handbag and they're not going to fall off or anything. So yeah. it's a really nice, safe way of doing it. So again, I've worked to the end there. Uh -huh. So I turn my work. This half move on to the needle and the other half move on to the wire. And I just keep going round and round and round and round. Just doing the straight, <laughs> uh, how brilliant. Um, and what about a tension square? Do you have to, can you do a tension square on those? You can do. Again, I know every time I teach and I ask about tension squares, I say to people, do you do them? And everyone's like, yes, I always do my tension square. Well, they don't. And then when you've asked them after it and you've talked about what tension means, they're like, oh, I probably need to start doing a tension square. Oh, OK. So I think if you don't have the patience and I know that you're really excited to get starting on your project, you've got your beautiful yarn, you just want to cast on, cast on. But after your first day's knitting, come back to it the second day and just measure on your needles. Right. Because different kinds of needles affect tension. Your mood affects tension. You know, if you're having an angry day, tension's oh, going to be tighter. Oh, the boyfriend saying, why are you knitting? Exactly. Yeah, then yeah. you're going to have a different tension. So I would just, after that first day, just lay it down, have a quick check on that, and then you can carry on knitting. Right. And you won't be upset if you had to pull back that much of your no, knitting, no, 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 really. No, no, so I think if you are someone who doesn't want to do the tension square, okay. then that's the way to go. Brilliant. Right. Is there anything we should check on? Any? What, what do you want to show? There was something else you wanted to show next, wasn't Yeah. There? So what I was going to say is, I think the other reason people don't like knitting garments is on cardigans, they hate the button band. Right. So normally when you work buttonholes, I'm going to hide those ones because they're my secret ones, okay. you get this weird stringy bit across it and it looks a bit messy. Well, they don't look like and, buttonholes. No, they just look like Mistakes. A hot mess. Yes. Hot mess. <laughs> so um, there's a special thing you can do that means that your buttonholes don't look like this. They look like. Oh, she's done this, this before, hasn't she? <laughs> so they'll be proper neat little like letter boxes. Yeah. Instead, so I will show people how to do that. But it looks. Are they going the right way? I'm not. That's a, no. I don't mean are they going the right way. I'm not questioning your knitting skill. <laughs> But you, I would imagine the buttonhole would well, they'd go be going the same like way that. as the stitches would go. But your stitches look like they're going sideways and your buttonhole's going up and down. So if I was picking up my border, so like, for example, on that cardigan, yeah. I would be knitting in this direction. Right. Down the front of my garment. So they'd be little slits in your garment. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so, yeah. yeah. So you're going to show us how not to do it or how to do it? I will show you how not to do it and then how to do it. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Seems the best way. Right, so we're at the point where we're going to do our first buttonhole. Now, obviously, I've done big buttonholes to kind of exaggerate the point. Yeah, you might have big buttons. You might have big buttons. So cast off one, two, three. Oh, what did you do then? Just take one over the top of the other to cast off. So that's right. my little, the bottom of my slash made. Uh -huh. Now, this is the other bit where people get really confused in patterns. If the pattern at this point then says pattern 10, 
That doesn't include this stitch that's already on my needle because he's already worked, so I can kind of forget right, about okay. him. Right, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So just to keep your count straight, it's Oh, no, the I would imagine section. if it's a 10, it's from the next one. Yes, yeah. but yeah. loads of people get confused and they end up with stitches at the end. So oh, just okay. keep an eye on that. Yeah. So again, we're ready to cast off. So knit two, take one over. So casting off is you just go through and take one over the yes. one before? Yes, yes. So I'm just getting rid of And that's what creates the hole, is it? Yeah, so that's just creating like a gap in my... The bottom of my buttonhole, uh -huh. I suppose. Then you work 10 again. Yep, so then or you'd work to the next one, yeah. do it in the same way. So regardless of whether you're doing the messy method or the neat method, you'd be doing this row exactly the same. Right, okay, so we're on the messy method at the moment, are we? Uh, well, yeah, we'll do we half, a, a, half a row yeah. of each, but I think this is the bit everybody is quite comfortable with. Yeah, yeah, I can understand that it's one. It's yeah. the next bit that people get scared about. Okay. So. We're ready to do the top of our buttonhole. And what I would do is... What stitch is that then? So that's just a pearl stitch. Oh, we have to, because we're on stri straight So on the wrong side, yeah. Pearls, yeah. So then you've got to turn your work. And now I can cast on by going between those stitches, pulling through, pop it on my needle, between the stitches, round, pull it through. That we cast on then, is it? This is a cable cast on, and I think it's probably what most people were taught to do by, okay. by mums and stuff. Yeah. So there's my three stitches to account for the three that we took away on the uh -huh. previous row. So I'm ready to turn and go to my next buttonhole. So you'd just be working this in whatever pattern the pattern book told you to work in. Uh -huh. Then I'm at my next one. And you can see already looking that it's not looking very neat. I'm starting no. to get a big stretched stitch there. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do to make my neat ones is I'm at my gap. So turn my work. So first two, I'm going to make in exactly the same way. So between the stitches, round, pull it through, pop oh. it on the needle, between, round, through, pop it on the needle. But this time, to do our super neat ones, we're going to start the same way, between those two, round, pull it through, and then this time, all I'm going to do differently is bring my yarn between my needles. And that tiny, tiny action is going to make it really neat. OK, so does that, is that written in these instructions? No, nobody tends to put it into a knitting pattern. It's just a, like, those in the know secret. But how are you supposed to know how to do a buttonhole, then, if it's not Oh, but it will tell you how to do the buttonhole, but it won't do that secret little, like, Oh, bit. I think you should do it. Charge extra. <laughs> it might do next time. Yeah, exactly. Do it on one of your personal ones. Do you want on your orange on that? ones, yeah. <laughs> so, again, between the two yeah. stitches, round... Pull it through and pop it on the needle. So there's my first one made. Uh -huh. Same again for the second one. Pull it through. And then to do our secret special one, pull it through and then bring my yarn forward before I slip it over onto that needle. Simple as that, but it's just going to make the difference between them looking like the messy, loopy ones that nobody yeah. likes and the nice, neat ones. So now, will, uh, obviously I'm not a knitter, so I've got no idea okay. what you just said. Will people who can knit, will they understand what you've yeah, just Yeah, I'm hoping there'll be lots of people out there right now just having a eureka moment going, uh, okay. that one thing that I do in other patterns, using it here, just makes lovely button holes. Perfect. So don't avoid cardigans, people. And how do you, do you, do, do you place your, card, your buttonholes by counting stitches? Yes. Yes. And does it normally tell you in a pattern yes. how many? Because you don't want one buttonhole, then a big gap, then a little no, gap. No, 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 no. The pattern will tell you, and that's why I'm saying that when the pattern says cast off three, rib ten, it's ten after that one that's still on your needle. Right. Loads of people count that one, yeah. but we've worked him and we can forget about him, put him to one side. Brilliant. Right, now, before we go on to anything else, I just need to do a stock recount because it's very, very busy and I want people to check out. What I want to say as well to you is Karen just messaged him. She's got the voucher. Right? She couldn't get it to work on the website. She rang the call centre. She said they were absolutely brilliant. Sorted it all out. She's just saved herself £60. Yay! So there. So there. So that's on. If you've got the voucher in the booklet, it's only, it's only today, remember. It's on Yarn Lane today. Just ring the call centre if you have any. It's only on Yarn. But if you have any issues, just ring the call centre. Right, book. It's a free phone number. It's a different one. Look to Second Street, though. 0800 4700 600. 
$14.95 this book. You get 13 patterns in here. 13 of them. They're brilliant. Loads in baskets. Now, obviously, you have to. The book isn't in the in the bundle. You're buying the yarn separately here. But all of the patterns are all here. All the different designs. That's nice. That one isn't that. Is that a hooded? Yes. So it's hooded like a jacket. throw on hoodie jacket. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. So everything in there. All of everything you need to know about making up left front border, right front border. Everything. Look, close up of the cabling there. Oh, that's like that Liberty dress we did the other day with Adam, isn't it? Pockets. I mean, you've thought of everything, really, haven't you? I think that I is gorgeous. I think that's lovely, that one. So now that cabling there, we haven't got we haven't got this one as a kit today. No, she's but it's here. You. Is that like a a mix of cables then that one? Yeah, so it's just one, it's the all the same size, uh, but on some of the blo blocks, I yeah. suppose, they are going um, one direction, the others they're going the other, but very straightforward. I think that's lovely. And, I, oh, and that neckline's got like a little roll to yeah, it. Yeah, I'm a bit obsessed with rolls on necks. Oh, I am. <laughs> Comes from somewhere. Yeah, Hannah says she's got lots of rolls and not on, just on her neck. <laughs> anyway, that's the book, fourteen ninety five. Let's go through the bundles then very quickly. You've got another knitting thing to show you, haven't you? Yeah, very quick. I'll be very, very quick. Uh, is that this one? Oh five, yes. So remember, you need to buy you need to buy the book to get your pattern. But this one here, you get two. If you've not, if you if you're thinking, oh, I'd like to try it, but I just want to have a go on a little project, maybe do this one. So this is your cowl and your hat accessory. Four left. Four of the of these. Uh, there's books left, but there's only four of the um, yarn. 14.90. You see that you're going to get a hat and you're going to get a cowl for under 30 pounds, aren't you? Lovely. Beautiful. Oh, now, do you have a an angel policy on your things? Right. Can people make them and sell them? Um, no. No. <laughs> okay. That's oh, but they're not my patterns. Oh, okay. So I, I design them and then they belong to West York. Oh, okay. Customers. So it's West Yorkshire. And you yeah. have to see the West York. I only ask because a lot of my ladies will want to make them yes. and sell them. Yeah. Them, yeah. No. And gentlemen. Yes. Okay. Child ending 63. Well, well, we're calling it child, but I think it's a little girl's, personally. Yeah, there she is. I love that. You see, now, I had an Aaron jumper with exactly that pattern on in like a peacocky blue, peacocky greeny blue when I was a child. Trouble is that in those days, the wool was like... It, it, Squeaky. It was just, but also itchy, like itchy, itchy, itchy. It was this, doesn't feel itchy No, it is. Now, we've had something made of Jacobs before, haven't we, Hannah? Was it a cushion? And it was, and it was hard, and it's kind of, none of these, none of these are hard, are no, they? No, no, these are all treated, they're, you know, really soft to the feel. The other thing is when you um, hand wash your garments, it's when like you soft. rinse it off, put a bit of, like, hair conditioner in, because it's just hair, really. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Can you put curly girl in, it'll all go like... <laughs> yeah, like mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, those two in there are curly girls, so that's all yeah. they talk about in the mornings. Yeah. Curly girl, curly girl, curly girl. Right, next one, quickly. Now, we did the man first, I think, didn't we? Oh, no, that's not 46. Sorry about this. Oh, no, that's not 46. There he is, next to me. Right, this one, you get the, um, the black-brown, and you get the cream, and you get the grey. Lovely mix, aren't they, those? Beautiful. <clears throat> now, this goes from 36 to a 50-inch chest, and it's um, him there. Oh, there he is. It's lovely, isn't it? The, 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 you see, the, the, see, this is Jacob, and this is, you see, you'd wear this against your face, no problem at all. There's nothing itchy about that. No. When Rebecca Reed said, oh, we've got some that are blue-faced, and, and some that are Jacob, we were like, oh, Jacob, that's the itchy one, isn't it? But that's not itchy no, at all. No, no. Beautiful. Right, OK, moving on. A coat again. Yeah, that's this one. So that's, that's this big one here with the cabling down the front. There it is. That's got two pockets. There's only six of those left now. Fifty-four ninety-nine for the yarn. Fourteen ninety-five for the book. But remember, the book you're going to get thirteen patterns in there. It's lovely, isn't it? 
And then also, once you've got them, you could make this in any colours you want. If you don't want to do the brown, the cream and the grey, you could make that in orange, yellow and red if you wanted to. Right, and the last one is which one, say? 81, which is the thing. Now, I just need to point out, the one you're going to make is slightly darker than the sample we've got here. Multi-way, oh, that's all right. Multi is that multi-way ripple? It is. But it's slightly darker than the one we've got in the studio. Oh, hang on. I was pointing to the wrong one. It's yeah, that one. No, that, that's that one over there. That's that one over there. Sorry, that was my bad, yeah. Okay, perfect. Right, let's do a very, very quick, so we've only got five minutes left. Let's do another quick knitting demonstration, if that's all right with you. Yes. So it was just, um, I know cables scare people a lot, but really you are just changing where your stitches are sitting on your needle. But you need an extra, ne you need an extra, you extra needle. You do need one of the little needles. Right. Um, but I just wanted people to realise that what I've done here is I've taken the cable from the little girl's cardigan. Yeah. And all that would happen if I did my cables the wrong direction is instead of my horns going out, they'd be folding in. So you can see that I'd just swap the position of the cables. Right. So you can choose either. You could choose either, but I think I think people get too worried about making, you know, am I doing it the right way? That's it the, that's the worst thing that would happen right, if, if you, you did the them the way. wrong way round. Okay. As long as you keep making the, the same, same mistake over yeah. and over again, it's fine. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's nothing to worry about, people. Um, right. But what we'll do is we'll just do that first cable, um, and so we get to our cable. So have you got your knitting needle under your armpit? Yeah, I'm a pit knitter. A pit is how they call yeah. pit knitter. <laughs> right. Okay. So you've done you've just done normal stitches, have you there? So yeah. So I've just done some pearl stitches with cables. We like to put them on pearl stitches because then they really pop out and you can of see course, them really yeah. clearly. Yeah. So all I'm going to do is put the next two onto my cable needle right. and put them at the back of my work. So you take, you've taken them off the needle? Taking them, them off the, the needle, put them on the cable so they're all safe, they're not going to fall off, yeah. they're not going to run or anything. Knit the next two. Right. And then I can slip these So really, you're the just needle. twisting stitches? Yeah, I'm just putting them in a different place yeah. on the needle. It's, and I think cables always look really clever, but actually, if you know what you're doing, they're you very see, I don't remember my nan having a third needle. I mean, I obviously wasn't looking, but you know what I mean? I don't remember my nan when she did all our uh, cable jumpers. Do you remember her, like, sticking it in her hair no. or holding it in her mouth? No, that was our friend, Mrs. <laughs> Vay, you're thinking about when she smuggled watches into the country. That's another story. Right, so go on then. So, you then so then this, the time, this time we're travelling in the other direction. So they are going to go on the cable needle again, but, but I'm going to the front. hold them at the front. And that's oh, literally the only difference. It's see. very, very straightforward. And all the instructions are given as to which cable you're working so then where. So you two. So I've done my two, Put them slip back them on. back on, and then I can knit them. And all we've done, like we said, is we've just moved the position of them. Wasn't that scary? I no. don't think. It's weird because it does. I want. Do you think it was discovered in the beginning by somebody making a mistake, going, oh, my mistake, but look, it's made Isn't that how it. all new things are discovered? I suppose so, yeah. <laughs> so then on the other one, it's just the other way around, but it has a really different look to it, I think. So when you when you knit knit at home, yes. for you or your boyfriend, yes. do you knit on needles like that or do you knit on the circular needle? Um, I tend to have a project on both because they use different muscles in your hands. Oh, so if you idea. knit a lot, have one on your straight needles and one on your circular needles to kind of swap between. So you well, don't yeah, get too if, tired. You do, if you do hand sewing a lot, after a while you get this kind of like, oh, yes. you can't carry on because it's... You've so got... you need to make a mistake and discover another way to hand sew. Do it that way around. Yeah. <laughs> I'm left-handed, so I, sew, I do it all back. Oh, okay, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> so now are you knitting, are you knitting as a right-handed person or a left-handed person then? As a right-handed, just because both your hands are doing something, so it doesn't feel so it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't feel like a left-handed or a right-handed. Because if thing. you crochet as a left-handed, oh yeah, like no, I'm not very good at the crochet. Oh, you know, I can do it, but um, in you terms of when I've had to do it for work, yeah. mine's back to front. Oh, okay, you have to use the because, back of yeah, my work. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, cranky. Right, just show me, just make so, the case again. Two stitches onto our little needle, yeah. and I'm going to hold them at the front this time. Okay, so you did the other one, the last one you did two at the back first, yeah. now you're on this side. You yeah, so we're front doing first. our little horns travelling in different directions. Back onto the needle, knit those two stitches, and if we did it, it to the front that time, we must be doing to the back, the back for the next right one, now. so they go to the back. So you... When you do... Two. Right, so are you purling or knitting now? I'm knitting the, on these, and then the background stitches the rest yeah. of my knitting is all reverse stocking stitch so that those cables stand forward right okay otherwise they just look like you've made lots and lots of mistakes on your knitting 
And there you go. That's the difference. Oh, so we did move the camera up to you. Yep. one in one direction and one in the other. They're both still beautiful cables and I use both of them a lot in my work. Yeah. But they have got a very different look, I think. So when they sent you this wall, yes. did you immediately in your brain go, oh, I know, cable? Yeah. So that's a cable as well, isn't it? Yes. You say. But that looks like a massive cable. But it's just that we've not done it. We've done it, if, it's done it for more stitches and it's got more rows between, so we're just spreading out. Okay, so instead of putting two on your little hook. Yeah, I think it's like um, five, four or five. Okay. But same, same action. Yeah, 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 yeah. So five to the back, five yep. to the front. Oh, okay. Yeah. Brilliant, isn't it? So, so you actually saw in your brain that what, what was what was Yeah, going to so from. if anyone has ever seen the image of Steve McQueen in the beach buggy wearing like a beautiful Aaron sweater, uh -huh. if you haven't seen it, make sure you Don't check look it out. For it, yeah. um, I was, They're all on it now. <laughs> it now. <laughs> yeah, check it out. Um, I was kind of inspired by that and I just needed No, no, you fancied it. <laughs> Not inspired. That's it's fancy. a great sweater. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, and so I was thinking of that and obviously this kind of cardigan is such a classic. But that's very Norwegian-y, isn't it? Or oh, is it Shetlands? I don't know. Yeah, Shetlands know. do it too. Yeah. Um, but I just wanted to do like a beginner's guide to that because I think everybody wants one of those ones with all the colours in. Yeah. And this was just a, oh, no, a I, simpler I think take on really, it. Really, really classy and elegant. Yeah, and no. So that, though, that one and um, some of the cables were my starting point and then yeah. working out because it's important when you build a collection. Is there something for all skill levels? Is there something that all different body shapes will of wear? Course, yes, and yes, all yes. those kind of things. And so, men and women and children. Yeah, so like it's that. kind of like building blocks. Lego so if I was going to start, if I'd never done anything like this before, yes. would you start with the hat and the snood? Yeah. Another the cowls. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I definitely. Cowls are good because there's not too much knitting, whereas I think lots of people start with a scarf thinking there isn't much to it. But that's a long piece of knitting. Yeah, and also, it won't just, oh no, that one's just, oh no, no, because you're going in different directions. This one's not, we haven't got a kit for this one, but this is in the book. The square's going in different directions. Yes, yes, so if you turn it over, you can see I've done slip stitches to make blocks to it. And so it's a nice rhythmic one to get into, but I just think for a first it's project, not, it's not just going, scarf is just such a long, you know, there's yeah, nothing worse than bored, starting and then you read the instruction and it says, carry on for 120 centimetres. You're like, oh. <laughs> Ooh, no, not no, for a beginner. <laughs> um, that's been absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank please, you. please come back. So you're still living in West Yorkshire? You still live no, I live near there, but not. Oh, nice. Oh, I love it up there. It's always so fantastic. Anyway, um, please check out on the book fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Got thirteen lovely patterns in there. Now remember the voucher booklet is for yarn only. You can't put this on it, but you yarn. Get 50% off. Just speak to the call centre if you're having any issues at all. If you haven't received your voucher booklet, then just ring them because they'll, and if you're we're eligible for it, you'll be on the list. They'll be able to find you. Like with Karen, she saved herself £60. I know, I know. Right, so Yarn Lane is back tomorrow. And we've got Carrie Gardner tomorrow. And we're doing. Oh, was it scarves? I can't remember what we're doing tomorrow. Oh, Hannah, don't ignore Hannah. It's called what? Oh, blankets and cushions, nothing to do with scarves. Yeah, uh, Hannah's three weeks ahead when I'm on my holiday and she's doing shows from there. Anyway, thank you ever so much. Thank it was you for having me. me. No, it's been great. And thank you. We I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock on Sewing Street or 12 o'clock on Yarn Lane. Take care.